Hello, I'm going to teach you how to transform any 3D model you can get into Blender into a, a tremulous map. So I found this 3D model on the Google 3D warehouse and I'm going to turn it into a collada.de file, DAE file, so that it Blender can read it. This bit's pretty straightforward. This is how a skate pack looks in the original model. And just gonna click and drag and select all of it. It's gonna click away from everything and then click and drag, select all of it. And then file, export, 3D model. It's a collider.de file in here. Options are all ticked. Um, put it on desktop. Skate pack vid one. <laughs> I've already done this one. Um, skate pack vid one. Okay, right now that's exporting. So I can open it in Blender. Here we are, Blender. Just going to get rid of these things while that exports. Uh, right now, is it finished yet? No, it's still going. You've got to love modern technology. But here we go, it seems to have finished. No, it's still going. There we go, right. So now I go File, Import, Collider.de, Desktop, Skatebook 1. There, there it is. There's the skate bag in Blender. Now, if you're going to export this to a map, you need to have it all selected. I mean, I'm not big on Blender, but if you're a Blender Pro, you've got all of these with the orange around them. They're all highlighted. So we want to export the whole thing. So File, Export, Quake 3 Map, uh, Desktop. Now, this is a Quake 3 Map script that I edited a bit from the original one. The original one doesn't work too well. But it's only a very simple edit. Skate, uh, skate, park, map one on desktop. Export map. Right, that's exported everything I selected into a big long text file. Ray, don't need that anymore, don't need that anymore. We need radiant. Now, I hope you've got your radiant installed properly. I used, um, I think I edited the tremulous file into Net Radiant, into Radiant itself, not using the Net Radiant package that are available. But the Net Radiant does work for Linux. You might have to struggle a bit getting Net Radiant to work for Windows. Okay, so, so this is the map that wasn't the map. Desktop, desktop. Skate pack, vid map one or something, wasn't it? It'll be this one. Right. So here we have our map. This is the skate pack inside Radiant. And this is why you do it in Blender, just because why you do the, the map export script, because it just saves a lot of time if you drew all these things in in Radiant. I'm just going to select something so I can easily draw a box and then unselect it. Do that with Shift and it remembers the height you were last at. So just do Shift on something and click and then Shift and unclick. And then what we're going to do, oh no you didn't need to do that yet, don't worry. Okay so first thing we're going to do, we're going to make all this structural. So hold down Shift, hold down left mouse button, drag it all, release mouse button, Release shift, brush, make detail, because Tremulous works well on detail brushes and the map doesn't compile if you don't do this. Right, now I'm going to press escape to unhighlight all of that. And then I'm going to, well actually to show you better the map, I'm going to do all this. And now I'm going to go to Nexus Nivius will do. I'm just going to select a, one simple texture for everything. So let's go for base grooved. It's complaining, but it'll live. 
Right, there we go. Press escape to unselect it. Now you can see inside there's all this, all the maps still there, and that needs to be selected individually with like shift click and you've got to click on everything they do all these banisters it's enough to do your head in and then you just click on like a banister color like red there we go got some banisters hooray and another important thing to do is to add all your you got to add certain things for the map to work in Tremulous or it'll just completely crash immediately. The first thing that's most important is to enclose all this because we've got holes in it. I mean, we don't know where this, who made this map. There's a hole here and there'll be a, more holes elsewhere. I've actually used it and there's some tiny holes in the middle of nowhere. You can't have a holes in a map. It's got to be um, solid. So I've clicked on something inside the map, so that should set my height right. So I'm just going to draw a box around the whole thing to make sure it works. So I'm just going to click on this and drag on this side. Whoa! And it does that to you an awful lot. It's really, really sprightly. So I'm just going to draw a reasonable size box and stretch it because I'm noob. Right, so... There we go, this is the stretch button up here. That's the rotate, that's the move. I'm gonna stretch this side now. Okay, stretch it back again, I think. Uh, it's a bit jumpy as radiant, that's why maybe making things in Blender is a better idea. Okay, so I've done that. Need to make the edges. Do, 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 do. No, it's fine. I'm just scrolling with my mouse wheel here. I have to right click in this window in the top corner. So that makes it. And then you want right click it again to unlock it, the view. This is just for looking around. This is for drawing and adding things. This is for selecting textures. This is for selecting which map files you're going to be working on. I suggest you use one that. There we go. Stop there right now brush CSG make hollow there we go so now it's got a box around it that prevent map leaks which stops it compiling there we go so you see there's a box there's a skip pack in a box I'm gonna add all the essential parts now that tremulous needs which is so I'm just gonna select something nearby hang on shift I need shift right button shift and then unshift with the click right so that's the right height so now I go to this bit I add got, we need three things you need info alien intermission and press which is just sort of popped up right there you see and I'm gonna also put in escape to deselect it you'll just copy over it info human intermission and I'll escape and right click info player intermission it needs those three things so it can actually ro load the map up and I'm also going to whack in and make sure escapes pressed escape escape, escape right now team alien overmind now you can tell if you blend I mean your net radiance working if um, your overmind show up right team alien spawn if you see those models then you know it's fine so escape and right click team human reactor right escape and over here team human spawn that's all your essentials now let's uh, put a light in here so I'm just gonna click on something nearby again and draw a light so there should be some lights in here here's a light so I'm gonna draw on here just drag in you see there's all that light make it thicker and move it up right there we 
go, we got some light in our skip back, skip. And I'm just gonna save this in my base directory. See, trimless program files, trimless base maps. Is it, then you can test it without having to export it and mess around. Anyway, so it's called skate map map map. That'll do, right? Okay, save. <sighs> now I hope I've got all this right. Right, it says inconsistent vertex count, but who cares, right? Build, and which one works? I think this one, this one's got light and fast and super two, whatever that means. Oh, it didn't build, hang on. I need one with all the things, one with BSP in it as well, you see, look. So let's do a big long one. And hopefully it'll work. It'll complain a bit, that's for sure. I'm not quite sure how this all actually works, but it does. You know, the making of it detail and the making of it structural, it's a little confusing about how it compiles, but tremulous doesn't seem to matter either way. With like Urban Terry, you seem to have to tell it where every single wall is and stuff. Okay, it's going. This is all looking good so far. Mm-hmm. Still going. It's quite a complex map, really. Well, not really, but I don't know. It, it saves a lot of time doing it this way. Cause I don't have much patience, and I tend to fill in uncomfortable silences. Here we go. Right, let's see if we got anything. Okay, let's load in and hooray! This is our map. And you can see there's the bit of banister I coloured in. But you, you're going to have to colour in everything. We can even play it. It's that easy. And there we got a skateboard. Uh, thing right okay that's enough from me